Growing up, these types of titles would always catch my eye. How to make a million dollars in 10 months. How to make a million dollars in six months. How to make a million dollars in a year. But I have now come to realize the realities of making money, especially, especially online. And even if you can make a million dollars in six months or three months or however short, a short amount of time, it doesn't mean you will be able to keep or repeat that same process again. If you don't understand certain fundamental principles of personal finance and business, let alone half of that is already going towards taxes. YouTube has been begging me to watch this content, so I figured we watch it together. And welcome back to Bam Man Kevo TV, man. You know, I just wanted to tell y'all about basically everybody keep asking me about OnlyFans or whatever, and I just want to let y'all know basically with OnlyFans, I mean, you can definitely make millions and millions of dollars off OnlyFans. Right now, I feel like a lot of females got the ways because it's a lot of guys that's want to see their favorite female on OnlyFans, like as far as like they want to see them twerking or they want to see them doing this or doing that. So I want to tell y'all basically how to make millions of dollars off OnlyFans using a female that you might have sitting in your living room, you know what I'm saying? And basically, there's rules to it though, you feel me? It's not just simple and easy and anybody can just do it. She definitely have to be very, very, very nice looking, you know what I'm saying? She got to have sex appeal, she got to have a nice body, you know what I'm saying? She got to be very photogenic, you know what I'm saying? She got to, first when you try to market, OnlyFans, and you basically got a girl that you're trying to market and her Instagram is low, you might want to grow her Instagram. What I mean by growing her Instagram is paying for shout outs. You might want to get her good pictures taken. And most guys, like, I don't want to let, you know what I'm saying, let it, nobody down. I don't want to say, man, damn, I can't do it with my girl. Because if you really want to do it with your girl or whatever, and you want to shoot it to the top and help her make millions of dollars, you know what I'm saying? Probably can just get her, get her body done. You feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? If that's your only source, you like feel like, man, me and Bay can make it. You know what I'm saying? And you ain't get on there, so you can probably put Bay on there, get her body done, get her chest done, turn her up. So, we're gonna get back to it. First, you gotta market, you know what I'm saying? You gotta shoot her page up, shoot her Instagram up. Now, just to finesse, you can't run her page up with ads, you know what I'm saying? Without marketing OnlyFans, because you cannot market OnlyFans on Facebook or Instagram, you have to actually use a third-party link, because Facebook or Instagram do not allow you to advertise just OnlyFans, like the link. So, you definitely gotta use a third-party link, but this is the way, this is the catch. First. You shoot a page up basically with promo. You can pay people for shout outs. So you can inbox people who have big followers, meme pages. You can inbox most of these people who have a booking or an email on their page. Most likely they take promo so that you can inbox them from. So at this point, I feel like, <laughs> unless of course you have enough game to do this, this would only work if you have a girlfriend. No female that you are just dating is going to do all this shit and then give you a cut. That's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. <laughs> so like, if you're okay with your girlfriend being online like that, and you can even get a girl to do that for you in the first place, I feel like the only way that would possibly work is if she's your wife. Maybe, maybe girlfriend, maybe girlfriend. But yeah, I, w I won't even cap though, no cap. Females have it easier when it comes to, you know, just showing their body on online. But, you know, <laughs> the competition for simps, the competition for simps is getting fierce. I think we even had uh, Chris Brown the other day, made an OnlyFans, right? All these celebrities are getting onto the OnlyFans wave. So it only makes sense that to keep a subscriber on your platform, subscribing to your OnlyFans, the type of content you make has to increase more and more and more, right? So I'm not sure what type of content he's referring to when it comes to OnlyFans content, especially for the female. But I feel like it would probably have to be X-rated. I, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I know there are people out here that pay for feet pics and stuff like that, but it seems like he's talking to the men, trying to get women on it. If you're just a woman yourself, definitely you could, if you're attractive enough, you have a, a nice little following on YouTube or any platform, you can make a million dollars pretty easily, right? <laughs> For the most part. But he seems like he's talking to the men, trying to get their women onto the only... I don't know, I don't know about that one, bro. I don't know about that one, fam. I don't think so, homeboy. <laughs> whoever's page and say, hey, how much you, do you charge for promo? They're gonna tell you 500 to 5,000, maybe to 15,000, depending on how big their name is. Now, if you really believe in the person, girl, whoever, you wanna put on OnlyFans, cause OnlyFans is not just about sex. OnlyFans, it could be for anything. Whatever you can, if you have fans and you have some knowledge that people wanna learn, you can definitely put it on OnlyFans. So let's not 
say only for women, but I want to just show y'all how to make millions of dollars on OnlyFans doing whatever. Let's say that. So basically, number one thing is Facebook, YouTube, Google, Snapchat, Twitter all have ads. I don't know if y'all know about ads, but basically ads is how to get your brand in front of millions and millions and millions of people. They basically say pay us and we're going to find the audience that you are looking for to advertise your brand. So if you got a little money, you feel me? You can take whatever you got going on your brand and put it in front of millions and millions of people. By doing that, it will give you traffic to your website. Your only fans. So I don't you can charge anywhere from five dollars all the way to fifty dollars, some even seventy five dollars, depending on what you're training, teaching, showing, whatever. You feel me? So basically, long story short, ads. Then you mix ads with promo, right? So you got let's say if you pay for uh two million people to come to your only fans a month. Now, Facebook is gonna show you from five hundred thousand to two million. We're gonna guarantee you at the lowest five hundred thousand people come, at the highest two million. You feel me? But you're gonna pay a bag, but they're guaranteeing you that. So, Wool up, nigga. Wool up, wool up, wool up. Just wool up. What's a decent man? Okay. When it comes to ad spend, right? I've done ads myself when they're trying to promote like an addiction program. Just think about it from the consumer perspective. Usually, right? When you've never seen this person before, when you've never seen this brand before, you usually ignore it. You usually pretty much ignore it. So, <clears throat> I would say the best way to run an ad is to run a retargeting ad. What do I mean by that? Essentially, you make organic content. For example, the best platform I would say, in my opinion, is making uh, YouTube videos. You make YouTube videos on your niche. Let's say, for example, me. I'll use myself as an example. On this channel, apart from personal finance, I also talk about creating your marijuana addiction. So, how do I do this? You make original content, organic content talking about how people can quit their marijuana addiction for example the best way to quit your addiction the best way to, te to detox from thc the fastest way to quit marijuana how to deal with insomnia when quitting weed how to deal with lack of appetite when quitting weed etc etc as a result usually seo or organic reach takes can take months three months six months or even a whole year to start getting you traffic and views. So let's say you make one of these videos, how to deal with insomnia when quitting weed. And then three months later, that video starts blowing up, right? Maybe within three months, it's gotten 3,000 views. And then you have other videos that are starting to get traffic too. And then what you should do is you run an ad to people that have already seen your face and seen your content. That is the, that is the best ad, type of ad to run. Right? All these cold ads, just random ads. You, you see yourself, yeah, as a consumer when you are scrolling through Instagram stories or even YouTube videos. Usually you're annoyed <laughs> by an ad. But if you saw this person's face before or you recognize them, you are more intrigued to watch the ad to its fullest and go through the sales funnel and ultimately purchase whatever it is they are offering. So cold ads, just running like random ads. I wouldn't personally run it. Usually I find the ROI isn't that high, but running a retargeting ad, there are a bunch of videos on YouTube on how to run a retargeting ad, like here or wherever you see it. But essentially, retargeting ads are the highest ROI when it comes to um, ad spend. But he's, it seems like he's talking about like cold, like people have never seen you before. So I don't really advise that, especially for a beginner. Focus on making original good content Ideally, I would say on YouTube because you can make ultimately, after you get monetized, you can make money from the ads and the product or your OnlyFans subscription. <laughs> okay, let's say if it's 30,000, 40,000. Think about it, if you selling subscriptions for $25 and 300,000 people click your link and actually sign up, you do the math how much money you make. So it's just about being smart. So with that being said, that's ads, that's just ads. Now, if it's let's say if it's a girl and she wanna like, if she's doing like nude and all that type of stuff. So what you do is how you market is you find all the Instagram girls with one, two, three, four million followers. You inbox them, if they don't respond, they have emails. You can email them, hey, I would like some promo. You know what I'm saying? How much would you charge? You pay them and you stay consistent and people who follow her, who pays for her OnlyFans, you know the reason why she making two, three hundred thousand dollars a month, they will start following the girl that you marketing. You feel me? So it's just different ways of how to do things as far as like I always tell people like, y'all do that, y'all definitely 
definitely gonna be rich. Like nobody will be able to mess with you when it comes to ads. I don't care what they got going. Most things, most big brands are built on ads. We would not be able to see it if it wasn't pushed in our face all the time. So what ads do is force content, brands, you know what I'm saying? People in front of our faces. So I mean, that's really that's really it. You know what I'm saying? As far as like trying to make millions off of um, OnlyFans, I just say promo ads, you know what I'm saying, the right brand, or if you're doing a girl, the right girl, make sure, you know what I'm saying, you have to, you know, it's a lot of people out here that like get on sites like as far as Pornhub and stuff like that, so you have to make your girl like major as well, you know what I'm saying, like just like if you go look at one of the top girls on Instagram, you gotta make your girl just like that, you know what I'm saying, she can't be like, oh man, like I ain't paying for her, you know what I'm saying, like you gotta be like, damn, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend that little $20 or that little $15, so it's just all about really just finessing, you know what I'm saying, the internet, as far as tricking them to say, okay, cool, is she on this big page, well maybe I should go pay this $25 because this girl is posting her, because people, and the thing with um, making your own organic uh, content is that usually you won't have to spend as much money on ads in the long run like i've seen some some youtubers some female youtubers have definitely caught on the uh only fans wave <laughs> i think some next girl like that she has an only i mean not actually let me not shout out any of these names they get no free promo what promo you pay me not on my watch not on my watch but there were Certain YouTubers online, female YouTubers, that are definitely uh, hopping on the OnlyFans wave. And I don't think they are paying for ads, right? They built up their platform to 50,000, maybe 10,000 subscribers, or you can do the equivalent on YouTube or TikTok. And they're able to promote it, just make a little story or add it in the description of their video and link it to their concept. When it comes to linking multiple links together all in one, the one that I prefer to use is called allmylinks.com. I find it's more interactive than Linktree. Linktree is okay, but I feel like it's too basic. Allmylinks.com, I linked my um, email so e email list on how to quit marijuana. I linked my Airbnb uh, referral code, my IG, my Twitter, and a host of other stuff, right? You'll see it right here. But allmylinks.com is my favorite way to promote multiple links at once. I don't know, they're just like, damn, look at her friend. That's her friend? Wow, let me try her page too. She might be just like this girl. You know what I'm saying? So people, you know how girls do, they doing thirst traps. Besides even that, you might know how to, you might know how to drive a stick the best. You know what I'm saying? Like you might make an OnlyFans just on learning how to drive a car. Somebody might wanna, I just feel like OnlyFans is really finna just change the world because it's so many things that people can teach that's very, very good at something. You know what I'm saying? And I just feel like people will pay to learn how to be the pro, how to be, how to master something, you know what I'm saying? Versus really just show people how to do things, you know what I'm saying? A little bit more different than YouTube probably would, you know what I'm saying? So I just feel like OnlyFans is the way right now, you hear? So one of my goals, like I say, like, I'm always preaching about, you know what I'm saying, credit. I'm always preaching about branding. I'm always preaching about ads. I'm always preaching about basically, like, how to always make money. Like, your goal should be at the lowest. You should be making $10,000 a day, which is possible, you know what I'm saying? Like, $10,000, like, man, if I I ain't making ten thousand dollars. I'm not on shit. You know. What can saying? we start with ten thousand dollars per month? <laughs> can we start with? Can we start there? Can we start there? <laughs> ten thousand dollars a day. Okay, that's that's one way to look at it. But can we start with ten thousand dollars a month on the low end? Can we at least? You know. You know what I'm saying? Yo. No. 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 <laughs> Just yo nah 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 let me just let me just skip a hundred dollars a day. Let's go straight to ten thousand dollars a day. <laughs> My nigga I get it, I get the point though, you know. You aim high and then you and you know what they say that you shoot for the stars and you end up on the moon. I get it, I get it. But yo, <clears throat> real question, real quick, real quick. How do you currently spend your money? Honest question, real talk, me and you, you and I, us and we. <laughs> when you get a deposit from work or whatever side hustle you're doing, do you pay yourself first? Do you pay yourself 10% or 20% of that deposit and you're putting it directly into your savings account? And then are you cutting back on certain expenses you have in life? For example, <clears throat> do you have the cheapest cable bill that you poss possibly can have? Do you have the most affordable phone bill that you possibly can have? Have you canceled certain iTunes subscriptions on your phone? Like maybe you subscribe to Apple TV, Netflix, and a host of other stuff. Are there any things on there, maybe gaming stuff that, that you no longer need? Cancel that. Settings and tap on your Apple ID. Then tap subscriptions. 
Here you can see all the subscriptions that you've signed up for through your iTunes account. Here's the trick, and it may be a loophole that they might close soon. But here you can see all the subscription options available for that app or service. For instance, I have Apple TV Plus at $5 a month, but I could switch to the annual plan for $50 a year. And then when it comes to your housing, maybe you can't lower your rents. So you, find, you can't find a, a good, as good of a place for a cheaper rent. Fine. But what about utilities? Are you paying utilities? If you are, are you minimizing your utility costs? For example, maybe you're in a cold weather environment. And usually when you're home, your heater is at 22 degrees or I don't know the equivalent in America, Fahrenheit. Y'all do the math. <laughs> Let's say your heater is at 22 degrees Celsius. When you leave the house, do you lower your heater to maybe 18 or 17 when you're no longer there? Because the question is, why is your heater still at 22 when you are not in the house? You are wasting money. You're throwing money away. Next question. Do you have a water bucket as opposed to letting the water run from the shower head. A water bucket will maximize your water usage in the shower. Essentially, you have the water bucket, right? Like a bucket, a bucket to hold the water. Let the, let the water run, you turn it on, fill it up. You shower, you rinse, stuff like that. You get, you get like a little bowl and then you rinse yourself. These are the things that people don't talk about, bro. <laughs> I made a whole video on utilities and how to decrease your gas, electricity bills. Watch that video, I'll leave it in the cards or I'll leave it in the description or pinned comment of this video. But, right, first, up, first step is paying yourself first. Next step is cutting back on all your expenses. And then it is to make as much money as possible. Usually I recommend having at least three months worth of expenses covered. That means if your rent is $1,000 per month, you have anywhere from three to at least six to $7,000 saved up in your savings account you do that <clears throat> and then you are attacking any debts specifically the high interest debts such as the credit card or your card note i have more videos on how to do that also in the description and pin comment of this video but just to summarize it you can either do a debt consolidation or debt settlement approach to get out of credit card debt a lot faster so people are always focus on making more money when in reality they don't even take inventory of their current financial situation or financial health. And arguably, my the biggest pro tip when it comes to money is checking your bank account every single day. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Stop playing! What the fuck? Stop playing! What the fuck is that? Ah! What the f or every other day. The periods in my life where I splurged the most or wasted or spent a lot of money were when I went an extended period of time without checking my account. Going two days without checking your bank account is too long. Going a week without checking your bank account is too long. Sean Bo, are you listening? Lend me your ears, ladies and gentlemen. This is good because you are able to keep tabs on any scam activity. Funny that I talk about scam activity. <laughs> but any scam activity going on in your account but also just to see where you're at in terms of your spending habit. So you take these apps, you take these websites, and you become the master of them. You become like the best, you know what I'm saying? You try to get as much as you can out of them and get paid the most out of them, you know what I'm saying? Because these websites paying people out here millions and billions of dollars. So I feel like if you had a master, like, okay, cool. Let me basically, you know, be one of those people at least making a hundred thousand, at least making a million dollars, you know what I'm saying, from the website. So like I say, like the secrets to most of this OnlyFans shit and all the rest of these sites is basically promo and ads. And when you're doing promo, go for the biggest people, like the top who has the most followers. Look at their engagement, look at their comments, make sure that they bust it. So when you pay them, you know what I'm saying, it really affects, you know what I'm saying, whatever brand or if you, you know what I'm saying, you're doing a girl or if you you promote crack, whatever you're doing, you know what I'm saying, who knows, but basically just make sure when you pay for the promo, you put your page on private so that if you get, let's say if they got 5 million followers, okay, once you put your page on private and they shout you out, you should get a lot of followers because everybody, people are nosy. Like, you, for instance, you post a girl on there and she got a nice body or whatever and then she don't show her face, so many creep motherfuckers gonna follow, you know what I'm saying, they just gonna be thirsty, like, damn, let me see who it is. Also. If, she, if, they, if the uh, person put the girl inside of their swipe up story, she gonna get a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, following it because they wanna see the face, they wanna know like, damn, okay, man, I wanna see, is she like the girl I follow already that I'm paying already $30 a month? Oh, she's a little cheaper than the girl, so everybody, this is a catch. 
If the girl got 5 million followers and her OnlyFans is $20, right? Then whoever you promoting should be about 15, 10. So when you pay for the shout out, basically the people who paying that $25, $30 to shorty, they're going to probably pay the girl that you marketing the 10 because they're like, damn, she up there with her, she posting her. Oh, let me just give her that 10. You feel me? Run it up real quick. Then take the ad money and everything that you made and reinvest it back into more promo and more ads. You feel me? So that you can keep checking the bag while growing her page. Because while you're making money on OnlyFans, right? You're making money on OnlyFans, you're also gaining followers, right? From these bigger pages. While sh so Shorty is becoming popular and she's becoming rich. You feel me? So a lot of people don't know this, like about OnlyFans and shit. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. <laughs> you're investing a lot of money into Shorty, bro. <laughs> I feel like, you know, wife, I can see. Girlfriend, she can leave at any time and have no obligation to you. You know what I'm saying? It could get to the point where she's making more money than you. And then she, she oh, you, what's it? What is the common marriage term? Irreconcilable differences. <laughs> and then boom, she's gone. Stupid, I'm not gonna let you get the chance. Right? I feel like, I hope, I wish he would have done more of like, how you can do it. He's mostly talked about how you can get a girl money and you get the back together. It makes more sense if she's your wife. By investing all this money into a girl and building her page up, unless it's a joint page, you know? Unless the, the uh, allure is the content that you guys do together, or a, a, a joint page together, I don't... Mm, mm. Mm. I don't know, man. A lot, I see a lot of girls making OnlyFans, and it's just like, they just getting on there, and they don't know how to market. They just think, okay, look, I'm going to go in there, and people like me, I'm just going here and make a couple thousand. Hell no, that ain't it. You got to go in there, and you got to be a marketing queen or a marketing king. You feel me? Like, that's the only way that you're going to get your page popping. And then, a lot of girls, I notice, and stuff like, oh, well, I don't want to get my body done, or I don't want to get this, this, and that. Well, why are you OnlyFans? You might as well, if you ain't going to serve these people... They purpose and be perfect on that motherfucker. You ain't trying to get you ain't trying to get no M's because people want to see what they they land up with something they already just okay with. They want to see what they can get. You know what I'm saying? So you become who they can't get. You know what I'm saying? If it's your girl, make her something that these people can't get. Basically, you know what I'm saying? So basically, like like I just this ten. You know what I'm saying? I just made this today. You feel me? And I'm telling y'all how this works because people pay for promo, right? People be like, hey man, bro, your OnlyFans are doing good, bro. You know what I'm saying? How much you would charge me to post this or do this or can we collab on OnlyFans? Yeah, for 10, 15, 20, 30,000 dollars, bro, because you gotta understand, I, I don't need what you have going on. I already got what I got going on, so you cannot really help me. You feel me? So if you pay me, then we can work. You know what I'm saying? It makes sense. That's what anybody's business. You're not gonna go to a, uh, a big business and say, hey man, I can help your club uh, be better. No, dude, I don't wanna hear that shit. Man, you either coming or you going. What you trying to do? So you just gotta understand how this works, though. But man, just to show y'all, you know what I'm saying? That ain't happening, you know? You heard? They come through, man, with the promo. Promo is great, man. Money. People make millions of dollars off promo. People make millions and millions of dollars off shout outs. People make money, man. So y'all goal should be only getting money, man. Okay, so I get the gist of it. But in my humble opinion, my uneducated opinion, my irrelevant opinion, I would prefer that you guys make content around your own personal life without relying on a next person that could leave you at any time. Remember, she belongs to the streets. <laughs> he called. She belongs to the streets. Uh. <laughs> so she could leave you at any time, bro. So I would prefer that you make content about your life. For example, if you are a mailman, make content about your life. A day in the life of a mailman. How much money I make as a mailman? Or let's say you are a hairdresser, hairdresser or hairstylist. How much money I make as a hairstylist? A day in the life of a hairstylist. The realities of, make, of becoming a hairstylist. There are a bunch of videos on YouTube that show a day in the life of a certain occupation or certain job, right? A day in the life of a, a tutor or some shit like that, right? And then you edit the content. I have a whole video on how to edit in my description or in the cards up here. And then you post it on YouTube and then after you have a product that you can sell, you can run more profitable, profitable retargeting ads to people that have already seen your face and are familiar with you. For example, if you saw him, right? If you were, if you were someone that watches Van Man Kevo and he ran an ad to you, 
Would it be more effective than the next man that you've never seen before? Probably. And I wish he would have gotten into the type of product that you could do. Because <laughs> unless you have a female, it's hard to have a product that people are willing to pay on OnlyFans or something, right? Unless you, I guess you do fitness maybe, I suppose. Like I said again, do a day in a life type of video or answer questions on YouTube about common questions that people have about your industry of expertise. If you're a bus driver, day in the life of a bus driver, how much money I make as a bus driver. This could literally be your second side hustle and source of income, right? And ultimately, once you get, once you get monetized, you have a second income source, right? We, this pandemic has taught us we need a second secondary income source at all times. So I get what he's saying in this video, making a million dollars in six months, but I feel like his talking points were like heavily reliant on the next female to get you your bag as well, right? So I can see it, but again, if you do, if you put in all this money and time into this girl, unless she's a girlfriend, girlfriend I can maybe justify it, but again, she can leave at any time and leave you in the dust, right? So then what do you have at the end? But if you make organic content that people are searching for on YouTube, you can get views for years, right? I have videos on this channel that baby got 10 or 20 views the first day, but three months, six months, and even a year later, they are now at 5,000 views or they've exploded or they made me a decent amount of income, right? On the back end too, because I have addiction programs that I recommend. All right, so I'm getting money on the front end with ads from YouTube and on the back end with affiliate products that I'm recommending people to, to use. And you will constantly get views for years. I have this one video on how to create a drug test or how to pass a marijuana t drug test, right? And how often do you think people will look for that type of content? As long as marijuana is alive and as long as people are taking drug tests, that video will always be relevant. Know what I'm saying? So while y'all are here, watch my past video on how to decrease your utility bills and save a lot of guap, bare dollars, bare moolah, bare pounds, <laughs> wherever you are, on you on your utility bills and gas, electricity, all that stuff. Or watch my past video on the realities of starting a successful YouTube channel and understanding the YouTube algorithm to ultimately get you views, subscribers, and obviously not guap. As always, it doesn't feed you, don't water it, and too much of any good thing is good for nothing. How are you lot doing today? Say it with me. I'm doing more, saying less, and keeping that same energy. No cap. Flip the script. I'm out. Deuces.